Thank you for joining. In this lesson, we will complete our practice with middleware in ASP.NET Core 7. I will explain two methods, useWhen and MapWhen. As you can see from the diagram, both methods, useWhen and MapWhen, work differently regarding branching. useWhen will not create a new branch. To comprehend it quickly and remember what this method does, you can think of it as a conditional structure based on an if statement. If the condition is true, then the piece of code will be added to the application pipeline, executed, and the code after the use when will also be executed. If the condition is false, then the use when method will be skipped. Map when works differently. It also takes a predicate and configures the middleware that will be executed if the predicate is true. However, if the predicate is true, then a new branch with the declared middleware is created, and the code following the map when method is skipped. If the predicate is false, then the code will continue its normal flow. Now let's see the code. I didn't change the previous lessons example when we used the custom middleware class with the extension method. I simply changed app use to app use when. Then I added a predicate to verify if the request path has a specific route and a delegate that will execute the custom middleware method if the predicate is true. The rest of the code remains unchanged, including the custom middleware class and the extension method. If we execute it, we will see that both strings middleware1 and middleware3 are displayed. That's because the casterel is started. The default address contains no API route, and since the predicate evaluates to false, the custom middleware is not triggered. Now I will change the route to API, and if I restart it, the use when is triggered, resulting in the message being shown. As I mentioned earlier, it works like an if statement for the middleware, with no branching. It is executed if true. Everything is pretty straightforward. Now let's see the example with the map when method and branching. We will need a few amendments here. First, I will change the method to map when. And second, we need to add branch don't run. With this code, if I execute it again, Kestrel will start on the root address. Since the predicate checks for the presence of the API path, we will see the execution of the use and run methods, while the map when will be skipped for now. However, if I add the API route to the address bar, the situation changes. First, the app.use is executed. Then the predicate evaluates to true because of the API route. As a result, the custom middleware is executed on the delegate with custom middleware. And the string custom middleware is the result of the extension method execution. Then control returns back to the program file, and the run method is also executed on the delegate, providing us with the branch middleware string. As I explained earlier, the execution will be branched, meaning that the final app.run terminal method is not executed because the map when method is not joining the previous code flow, and a new branch was created by the map when method. With these methods, we have completed the middleware section. Next, we will talk about routing. And as always, lesson assignments. At the conclusion of each lesson, I highly encourage you to complete the assignments, as they will greatly contribute to your progress in ASP.NET Core 7. By consistently practicing, you will see faster results in your learning journey. And the assignments answers you can download from the GitHub. The link is below. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more great coding content. Stay updated with the latest news by ringing the notification bell. Happy coding!